Hi, my name is Adam Welch and I'm a program manager on the Visual C++ team. Today I will be taking you on a tour of the new Visual Studio 2017 installer and showing you what this provides for C++ developers. Let's briefly chat about the motivations for this endeavor. Visual Studio has grown up a lot over the years, adding plenty of new features and support for more programming languages and platforms, but also taking up more and more disk space. Before we added support for other languages, 1998's Visual C++ 6.0 Enterprise was only 200 megabytes for a Max install, and this has grown to multiple gigabytes over the years as more languages and technologies were added to Visual Studio. For developers wanting to install only language-specific features or just a few components from the product, there was no alternative but to install everything, including unnecessary stuff. We have heard your feedback over the years and started to address this problem with the Visual Studio 2015 installer which made things like Windows Store, mobile, and C++ development optional. But what about removing things like web tools and .NET stuff, or other things not relevant to C++ development? For Visual Studio 2017, we now provide the ability to install just the tools you want with the new streamlined Visual Studio installer. Now let's take a look at this new Visual Studio installer and how it works. The Visual Studio installer is now a separate executable that helps you manage the Visual Studio installations on the machine you're using. After running the initial installer, the Visual Studio installer application will launch to a page where you can customize the installation. We have introduced the concept of workloads, which provide the necessary tools for various development scenarios. At the base of every Visual Studio 2017 install is what's called the Core Editor Workload, which you can see here described on the right. The Core Editor provides essential components for running the IDE shell, as well as basic support for code editing and source control. To cover the wide array of development scenarios possible in Visual Studio, we've created additional workloads in Visual Studio 2017, ranging from Windows, Linux, Azure, and even game development. For C++ developers, we have created five relevant workloads. Desktop development, universal Windows platform development, Linux development, game development, and mobile development. When you select a workload on the left side, you'll see on the right side, you can customize the options that you want to install. For the Windows desktop development workload with C++, core features are included like the universal CRT SDK and other things, such as the uh, compilers for x86 and x64 targets. You can select additional options by clicking them on the right side. Here I click C++ CLI support, which is a new option in Visual Studio 2017. It was included by default previously. The universal Windows platform development workload uh, does not include C++ by default, but you can select it over here on the right side. The Linux workload is very straightforward and currently has no additional options to select. Clicking install will get you everything you need, including the project templates for creating a console application on Linux or even a Raspberry Pi application. The game development workload includes similar options to the desktop development workload also, though, there's third-party game engines available, such as Cocos and Unreal Engine. You can view the third-party license terms below these options with the blue link shown on the right side. Finally, we have the mobile development with C++ workload, which includes all the tools needed for developing Android and iOS applications from Windows. Uh, by default, we include most of the tools for Android, including the NDK and some of the latest SDKs. In addition to full workloads, we also provide the ability to install individual features through the individual components section at the top uh, of the workloads page. You can select the specific features here without adding an entire workload. Say you want a specific version of SQL Server, select that and it will show up under the individual components section on the right side of the installer. Once you have selected the workloads and individual components you want to install, simply click the install button to proceed. You will see the installer run in the window below the workload selection area. Upon completion, you'll notice that the launch button is now present, which will launch the application. We also have the option to modify, which will allow you to go back to the workload selection page, add some features that you maybe want to add later. And there's also the options to repair and uninstall using the three-tiered uh, icon on the right. There's a couple ways to launch the Visual Studio installer from the IDE itself. When you open a project that has missing features, for example, like the MSC project here, it detects that you don't have MSC installed and provides you the option to install it there. When you click install, it shows the components that are going to be installed and allows you to do this. Now to proceed, you actually have to close down the Visual Studio 2017 IDE to actually install the components. And you also, once you do that, 
it'll look like this. And you also have the option to click the Customize button on the right if you want to add more components in addition to just the MSC and ATL support. There's also the way of launching the Visual Studio installer directly from the new project dialog, which you can see here on the left underneath the templates thing with the blue link that says Open Visual Studio Installer. That wraps things up for this demo of the new Visual Studio installer that comes with Visual Studio 2017. Thanks for watching and be sure to give the new installer a try and get the latest and greatest tools that you want.